welcome to Fulu Mountain National Park and its surrounding areas. Here, you will find what we call the Fulu Mountain Circle, a group of Norwegian and Swedish businesses operating in and around the mountain. The businesses found in the Fulu Mountain Circle include traditional mountain farms, youth hostels, shopping, motels, campgrounds, cafes, museums, hiking and fishing guides, snowmobile rentals, dog sled tour operators, and much more. These are small businesses which provide great service and the people who work here will do their utmost to make sure visitors are having a good time. Year round, there's always something to do here, no matter if it's summer, fall, winter or spring. This film is a welcome greeting to Sweden's most southern national mountain park. The trail takes us up to the Nypeskär waterfall. It is the highest in Sweden and the river drops off from a breathtaking 70 meters. In this place, you can observe how the water has dug its way into the cliffs during thousands of years. The water comes from far up on the mountain plateau, and when you're standing down here, it is hard to imagine that all of this, even that, once used to be the ocean floor. It helps you understand what enormous transformations the Earth has undergone. It is easy to feel overwhelmed as a human being when you stand down here at the edge of the mountain. This is what most forests used to look like before they were cut down and turned into paper and lumber. Now this old growth forest has been declared a national park so that we, and also coming generations, can see how a natural forest like this behaves when it's left to take care of itself without human interference. Today's industrial forests seem more like gigantic tree farms, where all the trees look alike and are all the same age. It was in these old growth forests that most of our Scandinavian sagas were born. It was in places like this where the trolls, the lady of the forest, and the spirit of the water lived in the stories and the fairy tales of old. In the riverbeds at the foot of the mountains, many precious alpine herbs grow and the land is very fertile. Only a kilometer away, the mountain is bare and conditions are so tough that not even the mountain birch can survive. But down here, we can enjoy a richness of flowers and berries. This type of landscape is very fragile, which is why you should walk along the wooden boardwalks or the beaten trails whenever possible, because the land in a national park should remain as untouched as possible. In the middle of August, the cloud berries ripen and the summer ends in an explosion of colors. During a very short time, grand changes occur. Blueberry, heather, mountain bearberry, and mountain birch are just some of the many species which paint entire mountainsides in flaming colors. The clear, crisp air 
brings a premonition of winter. You are always sure to find snow on Fulu Mountain. Mile after mile of Mark Winter trails offer an enormous sense of freedom. For those who like cross-country skiing, there are also lots of prepared tracks through varied terrain. There are also many facilities for downhill skiing, and in Jørdalen, on the Norwegian side of the mountain, you will also find an excellent tobogganing hill. Winter trails are marked by signs and stone mounds, which is a necessary navigation tool when trying to find your way to lodging in these small cabins high up on the mountain. And so, here's the million dollar question. What drives a person to seek out these isolated areas in the first place? Well, the answer may be different for each person, but the view, the sense of freedom and space, and the fact that this is such a unique environment is what motivates thousands of visitors who come here every year. During the winter months, this powerful waterfall freezes over and turns into a billowing ice wall. Daring rock climbers will climb straight up the fall, but to do so demands both knowledge, experience and special climbing equipment. It's almost as if the water had frozen in a blink of an eye and the ice turned into a beautiful sculpture for all to enjoy. Enjoy peace, quiet and relaxation, or embark on an exciting hike by snowshoes or by dog sled. If you want even more excitement, you can rent a snowmobile, either on your own or go on a snowmobile safari with an experienced guide who will help you find the most gorgeous and secluded spots. You will also find some of Sweden's best ice fishing for salmon, trout and alpine char. <laughs> Nature can change in a flash. Here you can see the result of the worst rainstorm in several thousand years. All the rivers in the area grew to 500 times their size, and the smallest creeks turned into raging rivers in only a few hours. Enormous masses of water created this mess when large trees and large cliffs were turned over and moved long distances. Now, nature is left to heal itself. It will take time, but in a hundred years, you will not be able to see any of this. The trees will decompose and turn into soil, and new ones will grow in their place. Grass and moss will cover the riversides, and this creek will sing the same song once again, like it always did. In and around the mountain, many wild animals roam. The lynx, the fastest and most flexible of all Scandinavian animals, are becoming more numerous. We call it our Nordic tiger. The moose 
has lived here seemingly forever. Proud and powerful, they have wandered between the winter pastures down in the valleys and the delicious grazing grounds offered near the summits during these short summer months. During the span of almost a hundred years, bears were rare in this area, but now their numbers are growing. The bear is king of the mountain, strongest of them all. Here by the foot of the mountain, he finds food and shelter and all that he needs to survive. The mountain is enormous. Up here you can walk for miles and miles without a single road. It's when you walk areas like these that you truly realize what a small creature man really is. And when you find remnants from the bottom of the ocean on the rocks and the pebbles up here, it is a little hard to grasp. In the Fulu Mountain National Park and its surrounding area, you can enjoy fabulous fishing in rivers, creeks, or lakes. And there's plenty of char, salmon trout, grayling, perch, and pike year-round. There are many varied experiences to be had for all types of visitors, such as various exhibits and museums, canoe rentals, experiencing an elk farm, and viewing animals in the wild like bears, elks, and beavers. Hulu Mountain and its surrounding area is a unique and exciting place with lots to see and explore. 